everyone and welcome back so today I have a special one for you um, I have a snowflake tutorial that I want to do with you a snowflake gem of course because what is life without gems and you know me I'm kind of obsessed so <clears throat> first thing we'll do inside the gem is actually the snowflake itself um, so because we do or I'm going to do it in white so that it's more of a relief type look. We're going to do this snowflake over here first so you can see it um, and show you like just how easy it is to do it. It's not a big deal at all, um, but it does give a really, really pretty effect. So we'll do it in like a blue so that you can see it really, really well before doing it in white in our little gem. So. First things first, just draw a straight line, just like that. We're going to go and make a line through it, like so. Another line through it, like so. And another line, like so. Okay? Now, we can make these the first, I don't know, cross, I guess. It's a little bit longer. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to do, let's see, where did I have it? All right. Um, let's see. On the longer ones, we do two little V's. Two little V's. One, two. So on the longer ones, we do one. And then on the shorter ones, we do two V's as well, but we keep them down lower. So we do one, 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 and one, and then we do one closer to the top. Okay, so that's our little snowflake that we're going to do. Um, I understand if that's really difficult for you or that you have a hard time with straight lines or whatever. Take your time, slow it down, uh, practice it over and over if you want to before you do it in your gem, maybe. Um, but they're just straight lines. Like, it's, it's generally pretty easy. And I wanted to keep it um, kind of on a more basic level. Um... So, that's what we're doing, and we're going to do it in white over here, but I wanted to show you what we're doing first, so that, because it's hard to see in white, and then we're going to go around it with some blue, as well as some other colors, and make it just a really, really pretty, kind of holiday looking gem, because, you know, holidays and stuff. Anyway, okay, so we've got... Our first line here, and go through it like this, and do slightly shorter lines like this, and like this. With the taller ones, we have two up here, two here. Little V's to this way, to this way, and then on the shorter ones we have V's down low, and then a V up high, a V down low, and a little V up high. V down low, V up high, and one more, okay, now, I don't think you can see almost any of that, 
I was pushing really hard because I want it to be kind of a relief type gem um, where I'm able to go over it with a different color and it will show up better. So I don't know if you can see that at all. I'll see if I can show it to you a little bit. Can you see it? There you go. You can kind of see the shine of it. Okay. And so I'm going to go over it with an icy blue. Um, I'm going to keep my white out so that I can redo it if I need to. And then I'm going to go grab light cobalt turquoise, which is one of my favorites because it's one of the lightest blues that I have in my uh, Faber-Castell polychromos. And then we just go super, super light. Real, stay real close to the page and it will give a better relief, like almost. And you can kind of reveal your snowflake. Like that. Can you see it? Yay! Okay. So I'm going to just try and stay real, real light with it. And just go around and cover my entire gem with the blue. That light blue to give the entire thing kind of an icy look to it. I'm going to go around and get my edges a little bit darker. And give it a really cool feel to it. And there's a couple of different ways you can always um, do this. You could always just go in and actually color, you know, around your snowflake to accent the little parts of it that you want to accent. Um... Just go around like that if you wanted to. I'm just doing this to show you. You don't have to do this. You know, just to, to give it a little more color in the center and show off your little snowflake. Kind of like that. Okay, I want to continue around giving more attention to my edges over here. Now we can see our snowflake pretty well. Um, I think the way I want to do this is um, still my normal directional light gem, but we're going to keep it very, very soft and very light. So my edges won't go so dark that you can't, you know, like so dark they're black because I wouldn't want that. Um, I do want to go over and change to violet I think and start bringing in some of just a different color to make it interesting for no reason whatsoever other than to make it pretty um <laughs> because that's what gems are all about uh making things look pretty so we'll start off by going around the edges with it and I just want to be very very gentle um and I think it blends very very beautifully with the light blue, the light cobalt turquoise, I should say. So I just want to go make sure I get my edges. With this.
just like that. And then I wanted to decide where my light source is going to be and where it's going to hit. Um, I think it's probably going to be coming from over here, so we'll leave this over here a little bit later when we get there. I still want to get my edges decently dark so that it glows correctly. Start going around and just gently putting in this layer. And I just continue and continue. You know, got to build up your layers for a really good, really saturated color. But I just like to keep it pretty light. Just like that. It's pretty. I like it. Okay. And then what we're going to do here is start going back in with our light cobalt turquoise. And begin to kind of get the uh, purple to blend in really well by just putting another layer over it. And that's, that's how you blend pencils. It's just light layers on top of light layers and alternating the colors back and forth. And just going over it little bit by little bit. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. What do you think? I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll show you want to bring a little bit more color over here because I can't see my snowflake as much as I want to. So I'll just bring a little bit more color over there. And then start another layer of purple over here. If at any time you feel like you might be losing your snowflake a little bit, feel free to just go in here and just, you know, Push in that white again. Make sure that it's there, that it can be seen. Because we don't want to lose our snowflakes, that's the whole point. Oh, my V's were way off. I couldn't see too well over there. Oh well. Want to make sure that it's still there. Everybody can see it. Okay. All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. So, I'm going to get one of my little portillions over here clean it off and use it for a little bit of blending I'm not putting any um, mineral spirits on it I'm not at all so this is just dry I just want to use it for a little bit of a blender um, I'm not exactly sure where my other 
uh, where my little blending pencils are. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, but I find that this is just easy to use when I want a quick and gentle blend. I don't want to use any uh, mineral spirits because I don't want to lose my snowflake and I think I might. I don't know. I'll have to try that later to find out if I do or not. Um, and then we need either a slightly darker blue or a slightly darker violet. Let's go with Delft Blue and just kind of give it a nice haze around the edge to just really get a little bit more dimension in here. I'm just going around the edge and kind of feathering it out, blending it into our purple. Do you see how it gives it that roundness though? That's what we look for in our gems, just to get that roundness kind of popped off the page. By the way, if you guys have um, gems and stuff or stones that you ever want to see, I do like to have suggestions. Um, not always guaranteed that I'll do them, but uh, they could lead me to the next big, biggest, greatest thing. So I always do want to hear them, so you can always comment and I want to know. And absolutely, like, if you, you know, get into gems and you want to join the Gem Hub group over on Facebook, um, as well as just, you know, share these videos with whoever you want to. Or you can just keep them all to yourself and wow people with your gem skills. You know, whatever. Alright. I like it. I want to blend this in over here. It looked a little rough. Alrighty. Okay, so I want to turn it this way a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my uh, gel pen over here. Make sure she's working. And then. Just put a little highlight this way. And a little highlight this way. Follow the edge of your gem. And maybe some little ones down here for fun. There. What do you guys think? You like our little snowflake gem? I like our little snowflake gem. Ta-da! There we go! So... I hope you liked it, and I'm going to go ahead and finish out with some kind of interesting little setting for it. And then I will post it on the Tribune Art, as well as in my gem group, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!